Hello friends, in this video I am going to take question number 40 of miscellaneous exercise of chapter 7 of NCRT Maths textbook class 12 and the chapter is integrals. Friends, the question is like this, we have to evaluate this definite integral e to the power of 2 minus 3 x dx from the limit 0 to 1 as the limit of a sum. Okay, now to solve this integral as a limit of the sum, we will have to apply this formula. Okay, and because the lower limit is 0 in this integral, so I can write e to the power of 2 minus 3x dx from the limit 0 to 1 as equal to limit of h tend to 0 of the product h into f of 0. Here I have replaced all the places where a is written with 0. So I am going to get f of 0 plus f of 0 plus h plus so on up to f of 0 plus n minus 1 into h okay now here n is equal to 1 minus 0 upon h or i can write n h is equal to 1 okay because n is equal to b minus a upon h so b is the upper limit a is the lower limit that is why i obtained this result now to solve this limit first of all i have to calculate this total Okay, and the most impor important part or 50% part of this question is the evaluation of this total correctly and 50% is calculation of the limit. Okay, so we are going to calculate the total. Now, since fx is equal to e to the power of 2 minus 3x, so this means that f of 0 is equal to e square. Okay, placing x 0, I am going to obtain this. Similarly, f of 0 f of 0 plus h would be equal to e to the power of 2 minus 3h f of 0 plus 2h would be equal to e to the power of 2 minus 2 into 3h and so on up to the last value f of 0 plus n minus 1 into h would be equal to e to the power of 2 minus n minus 1 into 3h on totaling the total of all these equation I am going to do so I am going to get right hand side like this that is the sum and this will be equal to the total of all these values okay now I'm going to evaluate the total so this value is equal to e to the power of 2 plus e to the power of 2 minus 3 h plus e to the power of 2 minus 2 into 3 h and so on up to the last term here I can take e to the power of 2 as common from all these terms so I can write this as equal to e square into 1 plus e to the power of minus 3h plus e to the power of minus 2 into 3h and so on up to the last term. Now, the terms inside the bracket forms a geometrical progression and the common ratio is e to the power of minus 3h. So, I am going to apply the, the formula for the sum of the geometric progression of n terms and it is equal to a into r to the power of n minus 1 upon r minus 1 where r is the common ratio and n is the total number of terms okay so here also we have total number of terms equal to n okay because the first term has no power second term has power 3h and the last term has a, pow uh, a power n minus 1 into 3h so this means that the total number of terms are equal to n okay now we can write the total as equal to so common ratio was equal to uh, e to the power of minus 3 so this is r r to the power of n minus 1 upon r minus 1 and e square as it is okay and further i can multiply this n because this bracket is raised to the power of n so i can write this as equal to e square into e to the power of minus 3 nh minus 1 upon e to the power of minus 3h minus 1 so i have calculated the total now I'm going to place the this value for this total. Okay, so I'm going to obtain the expression like this: limit of h tend to zero of h into e square into e to the power of minus three n h minus one upon e to the power of three minus three h minus one. Now to solve the limit, what I see here is this: that uh, limit of h tend to zero is given to us, but there are two variables. One is h whose 
limits you can see is tending to zero and other is n whose limit is tending to infinity so this is why we cannot apply the limit right away so for this first thing what i am going to do i am going to replace nh with one and with the help of this substitution i am going to get only one variable okay so on placing nh is equal to one we are going to get the expression like this okay now i can apply the limit h tend to zero for this expression okay now to apply the limit what i do i write the expression in this manner this e square is written as it is this numerator is written as e to the power of minus three minus one upon one just to represent it in the form of fraction and this h is taken in the numerator and this denominator is written to form a another fraction okay now why this has been done because we want that some formula should be applicable here to make the formula applicable further what i have done i have multiplied this and divided this expression this limit by minus 3 okay this minus 3 is going to multiply with minus 3h and the expression can be written like this okay this minus 3h goes in the denominator here now i can apply this formula limit of x tend to 0 of e to the power of x minus 1 upon x which is equal to 1 for this expression and for this value e to the power of minus 3h minus 1 upon minus 3h and this value is going to become 1 okay and this is how the limit would be removed or the limit would be solved okay so i'm going to get the expression as equal to minus 1 by 3 times e square into e to the power of minus 3 minus 1 upon 1 and this value is 1 so i've written 1 here Further, I can write this expression as equal to minus 1 by 3 times e square into e cube minus 1. This e square can multiply inside the bracket to give me minus 1 by 3 into e to the power of minus 1 minus e square. Right? And on multiplication, on multiplying the minus sign inside the bracket, I can write this as equal to 1 by 3 into e square and this e to the power of minus 1 can be written as 1 upon e. So, this is my uh, quite simplified value and this would be my required answer so this is how i'm going to solve this question friends thanks for watching my video to watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates subscribe and like the videos on these channels on youtube hsk shiksha and math help by hsk thank you